So by default, the Suckles terminal, better known as ST, doesn't have scrollback support. So today what we're going to do is add this feature in, as well as talk about another way that you could handle this. So if you're not know around here, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm trying to hit 100 by the end of the year and we are getting a lot closer every single day. So now that's out of the way, let's get started. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So scrollback is actually available as a patch for both keyboard support and mouse support, but by default the keyboard support is actually configured in a really weird way. So I'm also going to show you how to change it so you can actually use it in a way that makes a bit more sense. So if we come over to the Suckles website, I'll put my webcam over there, and we go over to the ST page, I'll put a link in the description to how to get to this page. And then I go to the patches section, and the patch that we are looking for in here is called Scrollback. So we'll just download the newest version of this patch. I'll save it into my ST folder as we've been doing with the previous patches. And I'll also download the newest version of the mouse patch. Make sure you download the newest version, otherwise you're going to run into some issues with compatibility. So we download that one. And I'm not sure about alt screens. I think that is for your full screen terminal applications, but typically they have scroll built into them and I would much rather use it within those applications. So now that's out of the way, let's actually install these patches. So we go up into my terminal, we go into my, C, uh, my ST folder. So patch dash dash merge, just in case we get a merge conflict, which I was getting off camera and I'm not exactly sure why because this is a clean install. So the first patch you want to install is the scrollback patch, not the scrollback mouse patch, because if you do that, then it will break completely. So the first scrollback patch, we install that one. If I uh, put the correct name in there, so it'll autofill. And the second one we want to put on is the mouse patch. So we run that, st-scrollback, mouse. And for some reason, I don't actually know why, we're getting a merge conflict, but I'll show you guys how to actually fix that. So the two files that are we're getting conflicts on are the config.def.h, def, oh my god, I can't spell. That was horrendous. Okay, so let's see. So the two conflicts we're getting are in here. So we wanna remove here. So let's see, we don't need this section in here. So we just get rid of that. I'm not sure why that was conflicting exactly. And the other one that we are conflicting on is the x.c. So we'll look for that conflict as well. And in here, I yeah, this is, this is another reason why it was confusing me. It's conflicting on a empty line, basically. Okay. So now we can actually install this. So sudo make clean install. We get a bit of a warning in there. That's not a big deal. And now we have this actually installed. So if we look back on here, it'll tell you how the scrollback actually works by default. So it's shift and page up or page down. So shift function for me, page up, page down. That's not working for some reason. Oh, I think I know why actually. So if we go back in here, the config .h, do we have the mouse buttons in here? So, okay, the, the mouse scrolling is working, but my page up and page down isn't working. That may just be because of the way my laptop is set up, because I don't actually have a dedicated page up and page down button. But if you do, then it might actually work by default. So if you're in my situation and it's not working, or if you just don't like the fact that it's bound like this, there is something that we can do. So what we're going to do is change how these keys are bound. So there is two macros in here that are defined for how keys can be masked, but you can use other masks like the control mask or the shift mask. The mask is basically the modifier key that you press alongside the other key that you press. So the two that are defined in here that we're going to make use of are the mod key and the term mod. So the term mod is control and shift and then whatever key you want to press and mod one mask or mod key in this case is just the alt key so we're going to make use of the mod key mask so i can press alt when i scroll or alt when i press whatever key i want to bind on my keyboard to scroll so if we change this to mod key we change this one over to mod key as well so now i can scroll up and i can scroll down using mod key and then my 
mouse wheel or on my laptop, I've got my trackpad set up so I can do two finger scroll. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here, but instead of changing, or instead of leaving these as page up and page down, I'm going to change them over to Vim keys. So if you prefer arrow keys or you prefer leaving it as page up and page down, then you can do that. But personally, I'd much rather prefer using Vim keys. So we change this one, what's that page up? So we change that one to K and we change this one to J. Cool. Save that. And now hopefully this works. So sudo make uninstall, sudo make clean install. Okay, we got a few errors, not a big deal. So now we press Alt and I scroll and that works, cool. So let's just give us some history to go through. Now I press Alt and I press K and that, it pay, this is why I don't like the default binding because it pages up an entire page. So what if you just want to scroll one thing at a time? How do you go about doing that? So that's actually a fairly simple change to make or even if you want to scroll two or three things at a time. Those are both fairly simple changes to make. So what we're going to do is come back into the config file and we go back down to our mouse binding because that's the closest thing I can remember. Okay, so in here, I guess we can change this one back to page up and this one back to page down because I know they do work, but I'm not sure why they weren't working before. So as we can see in here, the value that's being passed in to as this dash i argument is negative one. So what if we change that from negative one to say, let's say we wanna scroll by one line at a time. So what if we change that to one, what's going to happen? So I'll copy both of these and we'll change this one back to our K and this one back to J, okay. And now instead of dot i being set to negative one, we'll set it to one. And we'll set this one to one as well. And we'll save that. Okay, so once again, we have to uninstall it and then reinstall it. And now let's see if that actually works with my page up and page down. No, it still doesn't work with those. I'm not sure why. Oh, it does. Okay, it's not a function modifier. That was just my bad earlier in the video. So if we, chuck history because that's just a long command. So we press alt page up, that page is up now. Alt page down, that page is down. So what happens if we press alt J, for example? That's the wrong direction, alt K for, I wanted. <laughs> we press alt K and it goes up by one at a time. So, and uh, alt J obviously will go now down one at a time. And that's how you do single line scrolling with this. By default, that's not set up. I'm not actually sure why it's not set up. That's a weird thing to skip out on. So now if we test this with say a, a large number, because maybe you don't want to scroll one line at a time. Maybe you want to scroll say, I don't know, three lines at a time. So we go down to here again, and now we can change this to say three. I actually haven't tested this, so I don't know if it will work, but I guess there's no harm in trying it. Pseudo make, uninstall, sudo make clean install, and open that up, run the history command, and if we go alt, then k, yeah, I guess that will scroll three lines at a time. So if you don't want it to scroll an entire page, give it a positive number. If you want it to scroll an entire page at a time, then give it a negative number. So I did mention that there was another way that you could handle scrolling. So I don't have this application installed because I don't think it's very useful for my system. But the other option is to use Tmux. So basically Tmux is a terminal multiplexer which will let you do things like have a bigger scroll buffer, have tabbing, and have lots of things that I guess are cool, but most of the features I don't find very useful. Like tabbing I can do with i3 if I really wanted to. You can also have like terminal windows within a terminal window, which is basically just having a tiling window manager. And really the only feature that I would have is the scroll buffer. And I don't ever scroll so much back that it really bothers me that it's not there. So I don't really have a use for that. But if you need a basically infinite scroll buffer, Tmux is a much better option to use. But if you just want to be able to scroll back because say you ran the history command and you didn't run it with less, 
then you can do it this way and actually still be able to scroll back through your text. So I think that is pretty much everything for this video. I don't think there's anything else I really need to address. So once again, it is really hot today, so I'm sorry about the shiny face. It shouldn't be too bad. It looks bad on my really terrible screen, but I don't think it looks as bad on something that doesn't look as bad, if that made sense, I guess. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below Let me know what you think. If you got any other ideas that you want me to do for ST, then let me know and I'll be happy to address them because there's only so many patches that I can cover. I've still got plenty of things that I want to do and things that aren't actually just directly related to patches. Like I've got one where I'm going to be actually directly running commands within the C code. So you can actually do things like clear and history, which are not available by default which is really annoying. So if you want to see those videos when they come out, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below. We are getting very, very close to hitting 75. I think at the recording of this video, we're at 53 and we are just continually rising every single day. So I reckon we're going to hit 100 easily by the end of the year. At least I hope so. So if you want to get notifications when those videos come out because YouTube is terrible at it, go follow my Twitter and my Mastodon and you'll probably get updates there. As long as they don't decide to start just ignoring updates, but I think that's their entire business model, so we should be good there. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.